if you mess up your hair don't blame me i don't even know no more it's blending so well hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is shani stevens i do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on my channel and i'm also a makeup artist so if you're interested in any of that definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe please subscribe before you leave. So in today's video, I'm showing you guys how I installed these beautiful Honey Blonde Balayage clip-ins from Curls Queen. I think they're about 20 inches. I do have a coupon code. I will put it on the screen. And thank you so much, Curls Queen, for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys are interested in how I installed it, washed it, customized the clip-ins to make sure they are very, very versatile, let's go ahead and get into today's video so before i even get into the whole install process i want to go over the specs with you guys um, of what i got and everything that comes in the box so this is how the box looks super cute love the packaging i got the 20 inch clip-ins and in kinky curly the color that i got is balayage i got the natural black roots with honey brown slash honey blonde highlights now as you guys will see i did receive two bundles of these clip-ins but i only ended up installing one so if you're wondering if you need two bundles or one bundle three you only need one bundle this hair is thick it's full and for me personally one pack was enough for me so inside of the box it came with a bonnet it came with a brush and it also came with some additional clips that I can use to either place more clips on the weft or replace a clip if it gets damaged or depending on how long I have these clip-ins, I can replace or go back in and retighten the thread when it comes to these clips because if you do have your clip-ins for a long time, it isn't uncommon that the thread on the weft gets a little loose and you might have to replace it so i really do appreciate the additional clips that comes with these clip-ins all right moving into the bathroom this is how the hair is looking before i do anything to it this is fresh out of the box i didn't do anything to it but like run my hands through it a little bit um but y'all already know that i'm going to wash this hair blow it out straighten it and curl it and that's typically how i like to wear my hair and wear my extensions so if you guys see me get a curly unit, eight times out of 10, I'm going to blow it out. And to wash, condition, and blow this hair back out, I'm using the Design Essential Agave and Lavender line. It's really, really good to blow out your hair and keep it blown out. I like using it on my natural hair, and I also use it on my extensions as well. As you guys will see, the hair is going to start to bleed a little bit. That's because this hair was colored, so I'm just getting the excess dye out. I don't really expect for the factory to do all of this, so I always expect my hair to come with some dye in the hair well excess dye so i always like to make sure i'm washing the hair out and this is why i always tell you guys to make sure you're washing your units and washing especially if it's colored if you know that it's colored make sure you wash the unit just to get all of that excess stuff out of the hair so it doesn't touch your scalp or anything like that so i'm gonna do that and let you guys watch this process if you guys want a more detailed video on how i blow up my extensions and the whole washing process i will link that video in my cards Alright, now that these bundles are running clear, they look really, really good. I feel like they're clean and I'm comfortable enough to put these extensions into my hair. I just had to make sure all of that excess dye was out of the hair. So I'm going to go in and put these extensions onto my extension holder so that I can blow them out. And I'll link this um, extension holder down below, but I do feel like I need a bigger one. So if you get these, just honestly, Google another one and look at the reviews because I recommend this one, but 
I need a bigger one. It's too small for me and it just kept coming off of the mirror. So I don't want you guys to order this and then be annoyed at the fact that it keeps slipping, especially if you're like blowing out your hair aggressively and quickly. Sometimes it'd be coming off of the mirror and it really be irritating me. So um, look up some reviews. This is called an extension holder. I think that's what it's called and I got it from Amazon. And I'm going to start off with my two five clipping webs and y'all can kind of see that I'm shoving these clippings into the extension holder and that's what I was talking about. But I feel like I need a bigger extension holder. These are my two four clipping webs that come in the pack. These are the three clipping webs, two come in the pack and it comes with four two clipping webs. So in total you get 10 clipping webs in your bundle and my apologies I told y'all that I got two bundles of these clip-ins and I only got one. I was thinking about a different video. So yeah, I only got one pack of these clip-ins and 10 clips come in one pack. Now that I have laid all of my extensions out, I'm going to towel dry the excess water out of the hair and then go into spraying on this heat protectant from Design Essential. This is step number three. This is a heat protectant. A lot of you guys always ask me what heat protectant I use. And I literally show you guys this all the time. I don't know if you guys didn't know that this was a heat protectant, but this is a heat protectant. It's a blow dry primer. Um, it also helps with mending any split ends and it just creates a better blowout experience and it, it allows my brush to glide through my hair. I love using a bristle brush because it just holds everything and pulls everything down and blows everything out and of course i do use the tension method and i'm just going to go down the length of the hair and blow this hair out all right so once i'm done blowing out the hair i'm going to pass through it one more time just to make sure everything is solidified and then once i'm done with blowing out all of my clip-ins I'm going to go into straightening and pressing out this hair. I rubbed a little bit of Frisbee Gone Serum on my clip-ins and then I'm just going to press it out with my Babyliss Flat Iron. So I just finished straightening out the clip ends. I'll show y'all in a second. Um, and then I just switched out this flat iron for the curling iron because I'm about to curl my hair. But before I do that, I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, I'm not really going anywhere. I do have to go outside the house to pick up some more contact solution lotion a travel contact solution bottle because i ran out of that but before i do that i want to just show y'all how the hair is looking and i'm so excited to install these clip-ins i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup really quickly and then i'll come back and install these and curl it all right the makeup is done i gave myself a little bit of a trim because i felt like i needed it not even a trim, I just dust my ends. I'm trying to give y'all a little bit of a length check because I never, I never do a length check. So there we go. This side is definitely way more fuller and a little bit longer than this side. I don't know why my hair grows like that, but it does. Um, so yeah, let's start with the back right here. And I'm just going to clip this up and out of the way. Okay, I'm just gonna cut one of my four clipping webs into a two clipping web. And I'm just pulling off the excess hair. So I just made two two clipping webs out of my four clipping web because I feel like I need more two clipping webs because just how my hair and head is set up so lifting up the hair clipping it same thing with this one okay all right this is gonna be so pretty 
feel like I need to like move this out of the way. I'm gonna move this part out of the way as well. Okay. All right, now I can just focus on like the back part of my head. Taking that two clip and whip that I made and putting it right Top of that. Now I'm gonna part all the way over, all the way over, and then I'm gonna put my four clip in the left on the next row. Okay, so this part of my head isn't wide enough, so it's hanging. So I'm just going to extend the part a little bit and clip it like right here above my ear. So now we have this little space right here. Like that. sure it's free flowing same thing this one same thing Ooh. same thing with this it actually looks really good oh it's blending so well. I'm excited. It's so cute. Moving into this next parted section, I'm going to be taking my three clip-in weft and clipping it down how I usually do, lifting my hair up and then clipping it onto my hair like it's a tape-in or a wefted extension but I just wanted to pop in and kind of explain just a little bit because I kept finding myself not talking in these clips because this is my first time installing highlighted clip-ins I'm not a professional I really just be winging it with these videos that y'all literally just be watching me do my hair you know so I'm trying to coach myself as well as film the content for you guys um and sometimes I'll be forgetting to talk so yeah my bad I feel like I should put like one more clip and weft on this section right here. I'm gonna make another two clip and weft out of the four clip and weft. Oh, actually, never mind. I used my four clip and weft, so I'm taking one of my five clip and wefts and I'm just gonna make a two clip and weft really quickly. Other two clip and whip that I just made. I'm gonna put it right here. There we go. Wait, this one is a little tight. There we go. Let's see if that looks good. Okay, so just to reiterate what's in the back of my head, starting from the bottom all the way up, I have a two clip and whip, a two clip and whip. A four clip and weft, a three clip and weft, and a two clip and weft. And that's everything that's in the back of my head. 
Alright, so this is the back portion of my head. I'll just put it on my toe. I think it's blending so well. That's crazy. Like, look at the side view. So cute. <laughs> So for these side parts, I'm going to take the rest of this five clipping left and make one clipping left. And I'm making sure I don't go into the thread that's holding the clip on the wefted hair. I don't cut like right here. I cut like right here so that I don't cut into the thread that's holding the clip on the weft. Because these scissors are very sharp, so if I cut anything, it's going to be cut. There's no going back. Once I cut it, it's done. So, now I have three one clipping lifts. And where's the other one? Here it is. Alright, so now I have three one clipping lifts to put on the sides. I'm going to put a one clipping left right here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. I could probably put another one right here. Let's see. I'll clip that out of the way and start on this side. And I'm just going to put one clip and lift right here and it should be fine. Okay, it looks good. Now moving to the bang. Let's pull this down. So I still have all of my two clip and lifts, which the bundle comes with for two clipping lifts so i'm just going to make use of those and put them all throughout my bang area and then i'll go through and do some trimming this is about to be so cute Too wide, I should say it was too wide. Okay, there we go, much better. Okay, so in the bang piece, I have a two clip and lift and a one clip and lift. On the sides, I have a one clip and lift on my right side and two one clip and lifts on my left side and then in the back of my head i don't even know no more <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and take it down now or no let's trim first and i'm just using my hair as a guide and cutting downward now i'm not a professional hairstylist at all so If you mess up your hair, don't blame me. <laughs> I'm just showing y'all how I'm doing my hair. <gasps> Wait, did I cut too much? Again, I'm using my hair as a guide and I'm cutting downward. Okay, same thing with this bang area. I'm using my hair as a guide. stops like right here okay now I'm about to just take everything down 
this down. And see how everything looks together. It looks so good. I do feel like this part is like super deep, but I'll be okay. It looks Let's start curling. All right, moving into this curling process, I know y'all have seen me do this so many times, so I'm just gonna run through it very quickly because I don't wanna take too much time on this. So I'm basically just sectioning off my hair in the way that I installed my clip-ins, and I'm moving the back portion out of the way because I start from the back of my hair and curl my way upward. Um, so as y'all can see, I'm just pinning everything out of the way so I can like curl my hair. And then I'm just going to grab like an inch wide section and start brushing it out and then curl. I curl everything flipped upward but away from my face because the way the hair comes out of this barrel, it drops away from my face. And then once I let the curling iron sit in my hair for about 60 seconds, I let it open and I let the curls drop into my hand. Once the curls have dropped into my hand, I take the rest of the curl and roll it up towards my scalp just to make sure the curl is as taut as possible. And then once the curl is rolled to the root, I take the duck clip and pin it at the root. Okay, so my hair has been sitting for like 30 minutes. Yeah, I think it's been like 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be so cute. So there's really nothing to it at all. I'm just taking the hair. I'm just taking it down. And I did say I was gonna style it, but honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it down because oh, it's, it looks so good. This curl didn't curl the right way. I'm just gonna let it fall how it wants to fall, but it looks so good. It looks so good. What the heck? All right, so the camera is doing a bit of swaying. So if you guys notice that, please disregard. But I'm back a month later. I have basically had this hair for a solid month. I honestly feel like it's going on two months, but when I originally filmed this video, the intro that I originally filmed with this video, I didn't like it. So I tried to refilm it. That didn't go well. So now I'm back again a whole month and a half later to update you guys on the hair just a little bit and film an intro and outro so i am really liking this hair but there are some things that i don't really like about it i don't feel like this is like all human hair and it also sheds a little bit as well like anytime i'm like washing it blowing it back out it sheds a little bit but i'm not sure if that's because i customized these clip-ins and i cut them up so the weft is kind of like exposed um so i'm not sure if that's why it's shedding like that i really do like the fact that this hair holds a curl when i say this hair holds a curl y'all it holds a curl and i really like that for me i'm the type of person when i do my hair that's the only time i really want to touch it because I'm going to put rollers in my hair to go to sleep to preserve the curls. I'm not about to keep putting heat in my hair. And that's another way that I just... <sighs> Wait a minute. And that's just another way that helps me not get a bunch of heat damage. Because my hair is natural and it still curls up and all that good stuff. Another thing that I can say about this hair... 
that you guys might be like oh if you do order it it does feel a little rough but once i you know blow it out and i style it i don't really notice it being rough anymore until it's been like two to three weeks and it's time for me to wash it again then it starts to get like stiff because there's product in it it literally looks stiff so um that's one thing that i did notice but i just chucked it up to it being dirty and me having a bunch of products in it i was getting kind of worried because i was like oh i really hope this is not the type of hair that goes bad after like you know a couple times of wearing it but listen the hair is doing what it needs to do and i'm so excited i really really have been enjoying these clip-ins like i said thank you so much curls queen for sponsoring today's video i love y'all thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this video and i apologize for being gone for like five weeks yeah <laughs> before my last video i was gone for like legit a whole month i literally did not upload in the month of june and that was beyond my control I could have prepared a little bit more but like yeah it was I'll probably go into it in my vlogs but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys very very soon.